all right welcome back everyone in the previous video we talked about couple of concepts we talked about what is emi or equally monthly installments and how do a lender really uh, sort of like you know recovers the money that you have taken on the loan in terms of the two parts principal and interest and how principal and interest varies over a period of time but together the amount will be the same for each month and that is why it's called the equal monthly installment right uh, we also talked about the net present value and that for any project to be financially valuable valuable the npv should be at least at a bare minimum more than zero and higher the npv better it is right now we're gonna put this to actual test here in this uh, small case list so let me just uh, start with that very quickly so the case is pretty straightforward so you have two hundred thousand dollars of loan 12 month of duration the cost of borrowing is five percent and the interest that you're going to charge to the customer is 15 percent now does it make sense to really issue this loan as a lender do you really make money in this process or not right and that is what we're going to figure out and this is pretty straightforward as well so let me explain you some of the math or the formula over here the formula that we're going to use in r is nothing but the npv the first component over here is the discounting and because we are looking at the monthly payment schedule i have to bring down the discount rate for each month which is 0 0.05 divided by 12 and then i have this cash flow stream so in the month zero you issue out a loan of two hundred thousand dollars but then each following month for 12 months in a row if you count this this will be 12 for 12 months in a row you'll be getting the emi right and that's basically what it takes to compute the npv now if i hit enter the npv comes out to be ten thousand eight sixty nine dollars right ten thousand 869 so the investment that you made which is nothing but the loan that you have issued for two hundred thousand dollars you are able to get the money uh, of or you're able to get the return of ten thousand eight sixty nine after adjusting for discounting and the future cash flow which is pretty darn good right so if you were to advise this lender whether they should move forward with the loan or not what would be your advice Clearly, in this case, it does make financial sense to move forward with this loan. Okay. Now, this is going to be your turn to really answer this question. Uh, so, we have another loan, and it may look like a similar loan, but there are certain differences. And let me highlight what those differences are. So, the loan amount remains the same, the duration remains the same. Cost of borrowing for you has gone up. So, instead of borrowing this amount for 5%, now you have to pay 8% to borrow that and interest rate has gone down so earlier you were able to charge customer 15 percent interest rate now you can only charge 10 percent interest rate while your cost of borrowing has gone higher the question for you to answer is what is going to be the npv and based on the npv does it make sense to still move forward with this loan or the lender should actually uh, give it for some other purpose out there right so let me know what is your answer and this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you